So this is the part of the table saw where the saw blade hooks to and the pulley. Today I'm going to change these bearings. I have brand new bearings and a brand new pulley ready to go. The old pulley slid right off, but I did notice that there's a little bit of burrs here. So when I pull the bearing up, it's going to be hard. So first thing I'm going to do is a pair of vice grips here. I'm going to take off the key weight. Don't want to lose that. We're going to need that. Next thing I want to do is I want to make sure this is nice and smooth so the bearing will slide off. So if you feel any burrs or anything, like, like right here, there's a few burrs around the keyway hole, just use a file and file those off. Now that's ready to go. Next part is to pull these three screws off with a flat screwdriver. I kind of pre-cleaned it with a wire wheel on the drill just to make it easier to do all this process. In case yours is uh, caked up with sawdust and grime, you want to hit it with the, the wheel on the drill. So now that I got these screws off, I can pull this retaining cover off. This is a bearing retainer keeps the bearing in just in case the snap ring comes off. Next will be the snap ring. We'll need a little pair of snap ring pliers. I'll get in here and uh, without losing it, carefully pull off the snap ring. Don't lose these things, you're gonna need them. Now, this is ready to come apart. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap it with a hammer. And there it is, popped right out. So these are the old bearings. Now, there's still a bearing in here, which is no big deal. I'll pop that out right now and use the back of my screwdriver. Okay, here's the old bearing. It's in really good shape, actually. Probably don't need to change these, but since I'm restoring the whole saw, it ain't gonna hurt to put fresh bearings into it. Next thing was to pull the E-clip off right here. And then there's one more E-clip holding the bearing against the back here. So I'll pop that one off too. There's that one also. Now the bearing should just slide right off. Okay, it's not sliding right off. So we'll go to plan B. To get the bearing off, I went to Harbor Freight and picked up this bearing puller kit. It was $55 with a 20% off coupon. This is brand new in the box. So let's see what it comes with. Comes with instructions. I don't need those, but we'll set those aside. It comes with this bearing separator, along with all these different bolts that hook to it to pull it with the puller. This is the puller. To use this is pretty simple. I'm gonna grab a couple wrenches. For this tool, you're gonna need a 17 millimeter. So, here's your bearing. Here's your bearing separator. You wanna put it right over the bearing, pinching it between the what's it and the who's is. After you get it on there, you wanna tighten these back up. We will tighten the separator evenly and distribute the pressure evenly. Thing's gonna pop right off. What we got so far is the separator hooked to those. And then we'll add these extensions. I'll just tap the bearing off. And there it is. You got your arbor and your bearing off. Once you have it to a certain point past the two holes there, that's the lines for the Eclipse, it actually slides off pretty easily. These, I believe, are the original bearings from 1966. They actually say made in USA, USA. I unfortunately am gonna be replacing them with some cheap Chinese ones, but they're brand new, so these should last me a while. Before I reassemble this, I wanna sandblast this. Maybe. Maybe we won't sandblast it. We'll clean it up at least. So I cleaned this up with the wire wheel on my drill. 
just taking off any rust. I'm not gonna sandblast this. It's in really good shape. I cleaned it up pretty well. The bearing seats and all the parts that are machined are clean and ready to go. I got ahead of myself for a few seconds. I cleaned this as well with a wire wheel and the drill and I put on the bearing. I forgot to hit record, but all I did is I used a big socket that goes over the shaft on my work surface and tapped it on with a hammer until the bearing seated all the way down. Next part of the assembly is to put the Eclipse back on. The Eclipse hold the bearings from moving. So that's pretty easy. That's on. Now for the next one. Now that both Eclipse are on, this bearing's in place. Now we can insert this part into the housing. I slide this in and I set it on the socket and I'm able to tap it home with a hammer. And now that's in. Now for the other bearing. Set that on, we'll use the socket and we'll tap this on as well. Just want to put it on far enough here so you can put the snap ring on. And that's next. Put the snap ring in, the pliers. Let's bring it just a little bit. Slide it on in. Slide it on, then you can tap it home with your screwdriver. After the snap ring's in, you're good to go. Next step is to put on the retainer clip and the three screws. Last thing to do is to put your key weight in, tap it with a hammer, slide on your pulley. After you get the pulley on, I'll tighten down the Allen key, holding the key weight, and your unit is complete. Brand new bearing, brand new pulley, ready to reinstall in the table saw. I'm Patrick, I thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next part of the table saw restoration where we assemble the entire saw. Thanks for watching, see you next time.